Hello everyone. Welcome to channel DevOps Tech Stack. In today's video, we'll be learning about Ansible modules. I'll cover many Ansible modules, mainly for package management, how to deal with services using service module in Ansible, how to do copy of files from one system to other system or from remote system to the local system using copy module. Now, let us begin. So the first module which we will be focusing right now is package management. As the name itself suggests, this module is mainly used for the purpose of managing packages or you can say managing softwares in your system. As in the previous videos we have seen, in CentOS systems, we are using yum, yum to manage our software or manage our packages. Similar way, if somebody is using Ubuntu machines, they can use apt-get uh, apt module for package management. In CentOS, we are using yum, Ubuntu apt. Similar way, in macOS, we have brew and other, other, other ways to manage the packages. But mainly we will focus here on yum module, uh, which is mainly for the CentOS systems. Now, as we have seen one example uh, previously also, but let me share you now one more example related to the package module. So what we'll do, we'll use package module to install some softwares in the remote system. So what we'll do, we'll create a playbook, any, any name of playbook you can put, yum.yml. Now as I told in the beginning, we'll start our playbooks with three iPhone, then iPhone, name of your play, so name of your play, install, install, maybe git. Hosts, which all machines exactly we want to run this? All. So in the task sections, let us start with the YAM module. So name of the module, you can write YAM. The actual name of the module, that is YAM module. What, what is the name of your software? So name of software, maybe we are trying to install Git. So Git. And then wh what version? Maybe a state is latest. The latest version of Git, it will be downloading. So now we'll save this code and how exactly we can execute this playbook. So we have seen, we have to run Ansible hyphen playbook, your playbook name hyphen i and then your inventory file name. So let us see how it works now. So it is trying to install git, it is gathering the fact about systems and it's still taking time to install git in our target system. Meanwhile we can go to our target that is node 1 and we can see git is here or not. So there is a command in Linux, uh, mainly CentOS system we use rpm-qa grep your package name. You can search that package is installed or not. You you. I don't see any packages directly related to git is installed here. You can see cron tab, net tools and Linux firmware. But I don't see any software related to git. Actual git software is there. But let us wait some time and once our package uh, installation is completed, hope the git, git will be installed on this target machine. Let us wait a minute. So now installation is completed. Let us validate again that uh, this git is installed or not. So you can see in the last, Git is already installed in target computer. So I hope you understood how to use package module. Now, there might be one question in our mind. That which all kind of different parameters this module is supporting. So let us go, uh, go to the official site and let us talk about it. So, And let us see how exactly the YAM module is, what all parameters we can pass here to the YAM module. So YAM manages package with YAM package manager. It install, upgrade, downgrade, downgrade, remove list packages and many other stuff. So here you can see multiple parameters are there, but what parameter I have used? Only name because it's required. Without this parameter, your playbook will not work. Apart from that, we have used one parameter called a state. Latest means the latest version of software will be installed. But in case you want to use other parameters also, 
you can follow the official documentation which the link i'll be providing in the video description itself and you can use any of the parameters in case you want to use there are multiple parameters supported for each module so that's it about your module let us uh, move to some another module which we are discussing so now let us see how service module is working what we'll do we'll create again a new playbook service.yml maybe name can be anything as i told python maybe glue service Uh, so name uh, will will type maybe deal with service any name is fine then again hosts all then tasks and then in the tasks will give the name of our module play play so maybe service start and then what we will do service module there is a service module so service module again supports multiple parameter one parameter that is name of the service so suppose i want to deal with jenkins so jenkins i assume that jenkins is maybe running in my system or not so first let us check in the target system system ctl status jenkins so jenkins is a stop so what we will do we will start it so a state is started now save this playbook and let us run our playbook so ansible well, hyphen playbook playbook name and then slash root inventory.txt and this is inventory file so you have to specify hyphen i option now let us see how it works now as we can see our module execution has been completed successfully and you can see change is equal to 1 now let us validate the target system again a status of jenkins so you can see 39 seconds ago jenkins was started so this is use of service module now let us see few more parameters which is being supported by service module so as i told service module mainly used to manage multiple services in your systems service module has one required parameter that is name so name of service anyhow we have given jenkins enable if you want to enable the service permanently or disable you you can provide any of the parameters but this is not required parameter optional parameter in case you need you can pass any other arguments you want to pass you have if you want to slip it for some time maybe you can put the slip parameter a state we have used the started so it will make sure that your service is started use is one of the default parameter so th these are multiple parameters but we don't need to uh, know each and every parameter available as per your requirement you can look the official documentations and you can get idea about it now one question which can come in our mind always that why i have not written a state as a start instead of a start we are using a started why a started so here also in the official documentation you will see you have not reload reloaded not restart restarted not a start started stopped not a stop it's stopped why because a started and a stopped are idem idem started and a stopped are idem potent actions that will not run commands unless necessary so there is one very important concept in ansible that is called idem potency what exactly this idem potency does it makes sure that if something is already in place it will not touch that suppose you have thousand of production systems and where lot of stuff is already installed lot of services are running but by mistake somebody has executed the playbooks again so instead of doing any destruction into your system it will check the state and if it's already started it will not touch it so to maintain the idem potency we generally use these keywords like started or restarted or reloaded because in case it's already in the stage which we are looking for it will not touch it it will just skip it so that's why exactly we are using the keyword started or stop in case you have some doubt related to idem potency i'll i'll explain it in more detail maybe some other time as well 
put put your thoughts on the comments in case it's still not clear we'll i'll reply you via the comment section as well i hope this is clear now now the, the very important module that is copy module what copy module does the copy module copies a file from the local system or a remote machine to a location on the remote computer so how to use copy module let us see the example so here i have one software you can see that is prometheus some tar file for prometheus what is my requirement my requirement is in the target system in home vagrant folder i want to copy that software from my ansible controller to the target machine what we will do we will just write a playbook maybe copy something a name something like copy file dot yml again the default uh, default uh, few few stuff when we write our playbooks so name copy software hosts all tasks maybe name of your playbook so name copy soft and then copy module copy module has few very important parameters that is source so source locations uh, wherever your software is there so let us confirm the source file locations pwd home vagrant and then prometheus file so sources yeah so sources slash home slash vagrant this is our current system source location where this software is there and then you have to give the destination location destination is again slash home slash vagrant okay now let us run our playbook so ansible hyphen playbook copy file dot yml hyphen i slash root inventory dot text file let us see we have seen initially at node one no software is copied but now let us confirm so you can see now this prometheus software is copied to your target system and here uh, once the playbook execution got completed the software is also copied to the target machine this copy module may have many other parameters also that you can go to the official documentation and see what different parameters are there but the most important parameters are source and destination which is mandatory to be passed to module to work it properly